I'm Anska. Are you here to help? I've finally located Vulcan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. At this time, I am recording. If I have done this right, um, the Skyrim 10th Anniversary Edition has come out, and I've probably downloaded it, and I will probably be doing some videos with that added in. Um, waiting for the uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Trilogy to come out. Uh, I have that on prepaid. And if I'm not doing any other videos, such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or anything, you're watching this. Now, we are doing Highgate Runes, and in Highgate Runes, you meet Anska. There's some Draugr outside. It's not too bad. It's actually a very interesting mission. So, let's get on with Highgate runes here. Once you enter Highgate runes, there's a large area where there's some dead Draugr, and you can pick up some gold and some other stuff from these Draugr. Remember, if it's not enchanted, don't take the weapons. And this is where you come upon Anska. I'm Anska. Are you here to help? I've finally located Vulcan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. Some old priest buried here long ago. I've been searching for his tomb for a few years now. It's probably meaningless to you. But according to family legend, it links our bloodline back to Iskramor himself. If Vokun is as powerful as I think, I may need a little help um, dealing with him. You can have anything, except the scroll, of course. Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. Vokun is a dragon priest whom... Uh... If you defeat him, you get a mask. And that helps with the Librithian event, or whatever you want to call it, where you need the seven dragon priest masks. In this case, you're helping Anska get a scroll, and you actually get some pretty good rewards with this challenge here, this uh, dungeon. You're going to deal with some Draugr. They're kind of at a level where your character would be at. Anska is a decent help, but like with any Skyrim quest, you have to really explore all the little nooks and crannies. Like there's an urn, there's this treasure chest here, and when you get to the second level, there are some other interesting things that you're going to want to pick up. Now, let's get on to the second level here. And again, some burial urns and a regular urn in which you want to pick things up. And I'm going to just let things play out a little bit here so you can see what happens.
There is actually a fair amount of decent treasure in this area and throughout the runes. I'm going to fast forward to the next major event. Again, Anska is pretty handy. You want to kind of go through this area very, very, um, how shall I say, uh, nitpicky and precise because there is a lot of good stuff around and there is an Arcana Enchanter over there. I'm going to fast forward again through to the next major event. There is a lot in this one area that you want to pick up, and I'm just showing you a little bit here of what is available. This next room is a puzzle room, and if you sit down in the throne, you'll see how to activate the levers. Uh, yeah, Anska is in the way. Yeah, okay, nice boobs. There is hawk, whale, wolf, and serpent. That is how you will activate the levers based on the symbols. Now, once you get out of the way, you want to take a look here. Nope. You go up to the second level. That is where you start activating levers. And you search the urn here. This is hawk. And you go back and you pick up the urn here. And this is the whale. And you hit the lever. And you come down to this level. And you go to the wolf. But after you search out these urns and take whatever gold is available, there is the wolf. And you flip that lever. And then you go to the final lever, the serpent, and that opens up things to go to the Highgate Catacombs. Okay, the Draugr are leveled in this place, and Hulking Draugr are actually with the Dragonborn expansion. You saw how Anska really took care of the very minor Draugr, and she is useful. Again, I'm going to just fast forward to the next event. Okay, lock picking. As I've said before, unless you have your lock picking skills extremely high, you want at least 100 plus lock picks because you're going to break a few of them. And I've increased my skill level up. I'm going to level up. I'll just fast forward through this. 
This next room is some levers, and you flip this lever right here. You open a door, and a Draugr comes out. Draugr Overlord. Yeah, Anska took care of him. You go in here, flip this lever, and let's see. Oh, no. Battle Axe of Cold. Anska is getting beat by this guy. And yeah, you can take him down, a Draugr Scourge Overlord. And then you, uh, oh, yeah, whole cold. Activate the lever, and you can go on to the next level. But there are some things you want to pick up here, like some potions. Uh, nope, that's not enchanted. And nah, nothing worth else taken here. Let's go on to Vulcan's throne room. And Vulcan is the big bad guy you want to take down. Uh, you want to check out this area here. This side nook has some very good treasure. And once you enter Vulcan's throne room, you take him down. And you get the mask. That's Healing potions. Lots and lots of healing potions. Now you check out Volkun and you got his staff and his mask. And you can help out Anka after you check this area out. There are some, uh, how shall I say, you have the symbols around you. Serpent, serpent. And another serpent. And there's a reason for that. You're going to need to understand that once you get up here in this room, oh, there's the master chest. And yeah, okay, don't take anything that's not enchanted or of high level like ebony. Uh, there's the urn. And yeah, I'm going to take this. And of course, there's this other urn. And once you get down, you can take the scroll. And I'll let things play out here. I cannot thank you enough for all of the help. And here's a little something for helping me out. The word is storm call, and Ankya gave you a scroll or spell tomb of conjure flaming familiar. You got some decent um, treasure out of this. 
And again, Highgate Runes, there's some decent treasure in it. It's a good way for you to level up your Dragonborn. And there's some stuff you got to search around here. And once you get everything together, the master chest is gone. You go to this exit here, and you're out of Highgate Ruins. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the like button. I post four videos a week. And if you like these types of videos, uh, you might want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be informed in your home area when I post videos. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for comments. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, viewing. And as always, thanks for stopping by.